What's up, everyone? Adrian Morrison here. Uh, very excited about tonight's webinar. I have something really fun to show you. Uh, I'm just looking for everybody to start piling in the webinar now as we have opened up the webinar. Uh, so everybody should be able now to log in. Uh, we this week hit our max of 10,000 registrants for this GoTo webinar. Uh, that's the max amount of people that can actually register for the webinar. So we had to purge uh, some people that haven't shown up in like a month or two months. Um, it's just wild. I mean, uh, so many people are registering for this webinar. We're welcoming so many people into this uh, amazing community. Um, it, it still, it, it blows my mind. So if you're in here, congrats on uh, getting in. I'm actually curious to see if uh, this max is out tonight because I know that uh, my webinar happens to be right when the presidential debate uh, begins. So I know that people have to make choices tonight. And um, obviously I wanna make sure that every Tuesday at 9 p.m. you can log in and watch a fresh new training. So uh, we've got an epic training for tonight, but I will not be going like an hour and 30 minutes or anything like that. Cause I know that many of you I uh, want to watch the presidential debate. I myself, um, you know, would like to check it out. So, uh, but, you know, business is important and this is your business. And I want to help you this week with something really neat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my webcam. Let me just go ahead and see if I can get that on. Uh, just go ahead and put in a two in the chat box if you can see my webcam. I am. Spinning around in circles. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and put a two so my team can see that. Uh, you might notice I have a new piece of artwork behind me by my friend Stevie Chow. Um, he's phenomenal. I tagged him on Instagram the other day. He does amazing work. Um, I will, uh, you know, another week I will zoom out and I'll let you see the full spectrum of this piece. It's a five by six. It's got my M. Um, it's got the Empire Labs logo somewhere. There's my owl. Um, so that's like an owl I had created for, for me and my company. Uh, so it's very, very cool. So now y'all get to look at something behind me different than just a blank white wall in this new house. And this will be hung up uh, eventually. It's just going to take a minute to get it hung. I have a team coming to hang this up. It's a really big, fragile piece. Uh, okay. So um, if you are new to the Profit Power Hour webinar series, Welcome, I'm happy to have you here. If you look at the screen, you should see where you can go get your free Shopify store started with a free trial at shopify.com slash Adrian Morrison. Um, that will tag you to me as my part, under my partner link and you'll be able to get a free trial. On the right hand side is all my social media. Make sure that you're following me on Facebook, Insta, Twitter, YouTube, Snap, which I actually do. I answer a lot of DMs on snap i don't snap as much but i'm always looking for dms in there uh people reach out to me in different ways but uh, most active on youtube and instagram uh, on the left hand side are some tools i recommend using uh, most of which i personally developed with my company uh, pixel magic shipping hero really often are all going to be really big ones even coupon hero uh, for q4 uh, black friday cyber monday it's going to be massive so every week that you log in, you're going to see this welcome screen here. And of course, we're giving away some cash money at the end of the webinar. All right. So while everybody's piling in, what I want you to do real fast is I'm going to pull up our uh, Google Notepad, which I'll kind of see me argue with it and get mad at it every week, but I still use it. Here I am. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. And just go to our Facebook group and tell everybody to hop on the Profit Power Hour if they're not here yet before it maxes out. If it maxes out tonight, we'll see. Uh, and I'm gonna be showing y'all a free tool that I discovered uh, that can help you find products that are absolutely destroying it that you can duplicate. So go to facebook.com slash group slash profit PH and you will be able to see uh, that we have an epic Facebook group full of phenomenal people. And um, just go in here and post where it says, what's on your mind? 
and remind everybody to go ahead and hop on the webinar right now because uh, what we do at the end of the webinar is I go back to the people that were active and engaged and posted in the group and I choose a random winner. So that's how you win the money. You show up, you make that post and at the end of the webinar, I will choose a random winner. Only post one time, don't flood the group and spam the group. <clears throat> now, also I want to just take a moment to uh, say thank you to everybody for joining this community. We just hit 18,000 members in our Profit Power Hour Facebook group. As you can see, if you're not a member yet, just go to pro go to the facebook.com slash group slash profit ph link, which I'll pull up in a second and apply to be in the group. It's free. Uh, we'll get you approved in about 24 hours or so. We have like 40 people pending uh, right now. This group is different than any other e-commerce group that is on Facebook. And I know there's a lot of groups about e-com on Facebook, some of them 80,000. One of my good friends has one with like 70,000 people in it. But I look at all of these groups and I, the difference between our Facebook group and all these other really, really big ones, there's a couple of differences. Is I call this group the Profit Power Hour family. And I truly look at everybody in this group, what they're posting, and I try to respond. And you'll see me responding on Sunday nights and early Saturday mornings and whatnot. Um, you know, this is a very, very close knit group. This is not a group that anybody can join. Um, we decline people all the time. You have to be a member of, of one of our programs to be in this group. And uh, it keeps the group clean and it keeps it full of valuable information, right? Other groups have spammers that are just posting, you know, gifts and they're not really doing anything. They're just people that lurk around Facebook groups and join a zillion groups. So to hit 18,000 members in here excites me because that's 18,000 driven, motivated, hyper-focused, action-taking people, not just people joining a zillion groups. That's exciting. So thank you all for joining this group. And um, it's fun to celebrate hitting 18,000 members with everybody. Again, if you haven't joined the group yet, you go to facebook.com slash groups slash profit ph. Now, tonight I am going to be showing y'all a tool that's completely free. It's not for sale. Um, you know, there's no hook, there's no catch. These webinars are not sales webinars that you get on. Um, you know, many of you, you know, seen presentations from me where I'm offering ESA or Ecom Quick Start, whatever it may be. Uh, but when you get on my Profit Power Hour, it's time to focus. It's time to actually implement stuff and get things done. So I'm going to be showing you a completely free tool that you can use to find viral products, products that could hit and be currently doing upwards of $100 a day that you legitimately can go duplicate. And this is a strategy that I've been using for a very long time, but this is a newer tool to my arsenal that I want to share with you because I think it's really cool. And I, I don't even know necessarily, you know, for how long it will actually be free. And at the webinar, at the end of the webinar, I'm gonna give you a link and you can use it as, as long as this person that's developed it, whomever it may be, uh, allows people to use it, fair enough. I have nothing to do with the development of it. I don't know who owns it. It's just a really awesome tool uh, that I personally am now using. So how many of you in here are excited about that? If you're excited about that, just go ahead and say, I'm excited in the chat box. Just go ahead and it's actually called the question and answers box, but go ahead and say, I'm excited in the question answers box. I love going back through that and reading. Again, uh, if you're new to the Profit Power Hour, I wanna welcome you. Uh, we had a lot of new members come in uh, this, this particular week, so I'm excited to welcome you all to the community. Um, and if you have not seen our previous webinars, remember you have full access to the accessadrian.com portal. You can come in here, scroll down, go to the Profit Power Hour card, click on that and it's gonna pull up our members area and you can go and watch all the webinar replays from all the previous years, all the way up to last week. So we're on part three uh, this week of my top profit picks for Shopify and, and, and figuring out how you can get to $100 per day in sales revenue as fast as possible. Well, 
it's actually not hard to get to $100 a day. There is a product that I've sold multiple six figures of that is easy, very, very easy to attain $100 per day sales revenues left and right uh, with three to four sales. Just three to four sales could get you to 100 bucks a day. So um, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead, I wanna get started. Um, I am uh, looking over here at my other screen because I'm making a quick little secret link for y'all that I'm going to give away at the end of this webinar that's gonna show you exactly how to get get access to this tool. So let me just do this. Uh, there we go. I think I've got it right there. Boom, boom. All right, so I'll be able to give this link away at the end of the webinar. Um, it's gonna give you access to this free tool, which should be very exciting. I make nothing if you use it, it's free. Okay, so go watch the replays. It's part three of how to find a $100 a day product, my top Shopify picks for 2020. All right, so um, last week we went over the tactical flashlight, right? So you can go back and you can watch that replay. And I showed you how to find a tactical flashlight that works right now, right? Not the old tired ones that have been used and abused on Facebook ads, but new fresh ways to find products. And I already had people on Instagram hit me up in DMs and be like, yo, that training that you did last week and the week before Help me find my first product that's actually generated sales, right? Um, I had another student uh, apply for our, uh, I think it was the 100K Club, which we'll talk about later at the end of this. He said in this first couple of weeks of launching a store, he was able to attain six figures, which that's not typical. That's far, far from typical, but it's so cool to see that happen for people. And so this week, what I want to do is I want to continue this trilogy here and i want to show you all another way that you can find products that has nothing to do with aliexpress nothing to do with the last two trainings i showed you uh, in terms of finding beauty products and finding tactical products and gadgets all the very valuable trainings all things that you really need to uh, focus on and pay attention to things that can help you identify uh, products that you could profit from, but I want to show you something a little bit different this week. A very, very, very quick recap is, do you want to find a product that could be profitable that's just going to take off and be, uh, be a fast product in terms of you know, launch an ad and you get sales pretty quickly? These are some of the things that we've covered the last two weeks. You got to have the wow factor, You've got to have a high profit margin and there's got to be perceived value, right? So something that appears luxurious, uh, something that uh, fixes pain, health, beauty, something that uh, obviously speaks to people's passions, something that they're proud to wear, right? And it needs to be fresh and trending, right? So these are four things that you really need to look at when identifying a product. And some of the obstacles that we covered last week was, Productivity and time management are like the number one, like the number one issue people have is productivity and time management. They fail because they fail to get started. And when I talked about this last week, it's just like the chat box when I went back and looked, people were like, this is my problem. This is my biggest, uh, my biggest obstacle here. And then anxiety and stress. So I showed you some research tips last week that can help you take action at a faster rate can help you optimize at a faster rate and really kind of um, subdue the anxiety and the stress that a lot of us, including myself, um, you know, often um, suffer with, right? And that fear of failure and not knowing how to simplify things, overcomplicating stuff like, oh my gosh, what do I do? I just gotta give up, right? That's what people do. I want to take all of these obstacles, which are really just up here, and I want to eliminate them for you. So tonight, I am going to show you another way to eliminate these obstacles so you're more productive, you use your time wisely, you take action, and there's less fear. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something real fast, and it's, it's really cool. So there is this company, uh, they're really big, this is a massive company, uh, and they are a essentially what is called a print-on-demand company. So let me just pull them up real quick. Okay, here they are. 
So this company here is called Redbubble. <clears throat> Probably heard of them before. Just a, a massive company where uh, sellers can come on here and sell products. They have a marketplace, uh, their own marketplace, where uh, you know they offer the products that are created by sellers. You can see up here, it says sell your art. I'm not here to teach you how to start selling on Redbubble because in my opinion, running a Shopify store and, and, and having control over your company is the most important thing an e-commerce entrepreneur could be doing in 2020, 2021, 2021 and beyond, right? Because now we got to have control over our data. We want the email addresses. We want to have, be able to control our advertising and not have restrictions, which companies like Redbubble and Amazon and eBay, right? Um, well, they, they put those burdens on your shoulder, right? So that said, I'm not here to teach you how to sell on Redbubble, right? I was teaching how to do that type of stuff back in 2013 and 2014. I've since, um, you know, obviously, I have I've grown and I've taken my community and my, and my Profit Power Hour family with me to bigger and better things. But that's not to say that people aren't making money with Redbubble. That's not to say that there's not some great research that could be done on Redbubble. And if you've never heard of Redbubble before, that would be surprising to me. But it's a massive, massive website full of product ideas. And again, one of your number one obstacles with productivity and time management is your ability to do research and find products that actually are winning products. Would you all still agree with me on that? Just say yes, if you all still agree. And by the way, I'm not gonna go forever tonight. I know that we've already been going for uh, 17 minutes. Uh, I'll probably cut this off around the 50 minute mark or so, because I know that people wanna get to the debate and whatnot. And that's great because this is going to be a really short, straight to the point training. So Redbubble is a website that sells a lot of clothing uh, from T-shirts, the hoodies, the leggings, the skirts, socks, tank tops, stickers. Uh, so these could be car stickers, helmet stickers, laptop stickers. Uh, obviously, everyone is selling face masks now. Phone cases, wall art, home and living, kids and baby products, accessories, like backpacks, scarves, and tech stuff, and tote bags. Notice that they're really selling everything that we can sell on our own Shopify stores using apps like Pillow Profits and T-Launch and Printful, right? So you really don't have any advantage over here compared to Shopify, but people don't know what it is they don't know. And essentially with Redbubble, you are renting out their marketplace. So I, I would always tell people, yo, you wanna find some cool ideas? Go to Redbubble. You wanna sell t-shirts? Come over here to where it says all clothing and click on t-shirts and Redbubble's gonna start recommending to you, uh, be it men or women's t-shirts or unisex t-shirts. They'll start recommending to you all sorts of different things. Look, there's 116,000 results here, right? Halloween is coming up in uh, what, 30, 31 days, something like that. Um, you can see right here that this Ghost of Disapproval classic t-shirt is for sale. I don't know what this means, uh, but it is literally just a little graphic of a ghost that says boo, right? And this is on Redbubble. Now, we're not really able to see exactly how many of this t-shirt they've sold. Uh, we can read the reviews. So this says perfect fit for petite girls. I'm five foot uh, and hundred pounds. Like we don't know necessarily if this is reviews for the seller or if this is reviews specifically for this shirt, right? Um, I, I like to think that this is really just reviews from the seller that are kind of um, all being shown right here. So, cause who's buying Halloween shirts in May? right? Not many people, I'd guess. So here's what happens. You start doing research over here on this particular website on Redbubble and you immediately hit this time management productivity obstacle because you get over here to Redbubble 
and you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? There's a zillion t-shirts. I don't know which one of these are doing good. I don't know what niches are popping off right now. I don't know where to get designs like this. I don't know where to start. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that I have made hundreds of thousands of dollars just selling one or two simple t-shirt designs. I want you to really think about that for a second. All right, we're gonna talk about selling all sorts of stuff, but I have like two t-shirt designs that have done multiple six figures in sales for me, and they are ugly as anything. They are so ugly. Ugly designs sell. You don't have to have a beautiful t-shirt like this one right here that's got uh, you know mountains on it and the sunset and all that stuff. This isn't really necessarily what sells, right? Uh, and there's a strategy to selling print-on-demand items. And the reason I want to talk to you tonight about selling print-on-demand items is because they ship fast. And there's an opportunity right now for you to take advantage of Halloween designs. Then there's a, a, the opportunity to take advantage of Thanksgiving puns and Thanksgiving designs, um, then Christmas designs and Hanukkah designs. There's all sorts of different holidays that are coming up that you could take advantage of. And when you're using companies like T-Launch, um, which is a Shopify app that will let you do print on demand t-shirts on your store, then you have the ability to ship fast with drop shipping, right? So a lot of people, again, get here to Redbubble and they're like, oh my God, what do I do? And it's kind of like, uh, I'll give you a good example. Last night, I'm, I moved in this new house. So this art behind me isn't hung, no, nothing is really done yet. And I, I, I had a breakdown last night because I'm, I'm OCD, like I like my stuff to be in its place. Um, I like to have a warm space with good energy to work in. Um, and right now my office is pretty bare bones. There's a lot of empty space in it and outside that room over there, outside this room, I don't have like my sitting area and stuff and all the furniture stores have a zillion options. And I'm like, I was like, I'm going on uh, the internet tomorrow and I'm buying a rug and I'm buying two sitting chairs, I'm buying all this stuff. And I got on there and two hours later, I didn't have a single item in my shopping cart and I had a zillion tabs open and I had no idea what I wanted. And I literally just shut my computer and I went to sleep and I was like, I can't do this. I had decision paralysis. And when you're doing research, you get decision paralysis because of the unknown and because there's so many options. So the free tool that I'm gonna show you tonight will unveil what is popular right now on Redbubble, what is rising to popularity. And you can identify if it's a trend or a niche that you can duplicate and if it's popping off, it's easily doing $100 a day. You sell four t-shirts and you're at 100 bucks a day in revenue. Is everybody with me on this? So out of this massive company, Redbubble, and all the products that they're selling, how many of you in here would feel like if you could see an updated list of the most popular products that are being sold right now, you could easily duplicate success with your own print on demand business. You could take designs, you could go into shop your Shopify store, you could install apps like uh, T-Launch here, Pillow Profits, but we'll just open up T-Launch, all right? Even Shine On, um, even Shine On doing jewelry, but we'll just open up T-Launch for this example. And you can come over here to create a product and you can start running like your own business uh, just using what's already working. Like you just put designs on these types of products, whatever it is, wall art, office art, jewelry, kitchenware, drinkware, apparel. Um, you know, there's so many options. Okay, so let's talk about this tool. I'm gonna take a, a sip of my drink real fast. Okay, so this tool that I discovered <clears throat> is really neat. And it's a Redbubble automation tool. Can everybody see this? Just say yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
All right, so it updates once a week, and I don't really know how it does what it does. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have no clue how it does what it does, but it's free. And the guy that developed this tool, guy or girl, I don't know which it is, um, doesn't ask for much. He said, you know, you can use this tool, and if you really enjoy it, you can click here and buy me a coffee. Uh, so I guess like this person really loves coffee. I agree, I love coffee too, uh, which is really neat. And what this does is every week it scrapes the most popular results on Redbubble and it tells me exactly what they are. But it also allows me to search for specific niches, right? So there are a couple of columns here. There's popularity, then there's increased popularity, there's results, and there are increased results, and then a URL directly to whatever it may be. Now again, we're looking at popular products, popular niches, popular designs on Redbubble, and we're looking to duplicate success and use those as inspiration, discover niches, discover products that are working right now that we can launch on our Shopify store, right? Where we are in control. So what do each of these columns mean? All right, well, there, there's a great identifier down here. Um, and you can see why this person says, I built this tool to help me better understand what's popular on Redbubble and how popular tags vary from week to week. By looking at this table, you can easily determine which tags have gained popularity in the last seven days. You're also able to see the number of results for each tag, which helps evaluate each niche. And we're going to talk about this. All right, so what is all of this data? Uh, so popularity, and I'm gonna zoom in on this for y'all, so I wanna make sure that you can read it, okay? So popularity, this ranking indicates the popularity of a tag as provided by Redbubble. A lower value means the tag is more popular. So on a scale of one to 10, a one would be more popular than 10, right? Um, then popularity with an up arrow, so popularity with an up arrow is delta or change. This value shows the variance in popularity of each tag compared to the previous week. So this looks at a niche, essentially, right? Uh, from last week to this week. And it's gonna tell you if it's increased in popularity or decreased in popularity. How many of you in here would agree that's pretty dang good information to have? If something is catching fire or if something is starting to fizzle out, right? You obviously don't wanna start trying to market something if every week it's less popular than the previous week. But if every week you see it gaining popularity, if the wave is starting to build. You know, we talked about a couple of weeks ago, surfing that profit wave. You literally can see the profit wave forming so you can start paddling and catch that wave before it gets really big, right? So uh, the popularity increase, our uh, popularity change column is gonna be very important. And then there's results on the left-hand side. Uh, the results indicates how many artworks contain a certain tag. It isn't real time, it's generated once a week. So bear in mind that this is only updated once every single week, which is on Mondays, so yesterday. And then results, delta, or change. This shows the variance in results for each tag compared to the previous week. So it's gonna show you, are people that are selling products in this niche, AKA tag, um, are those results, like are they taking that product down because it's not getting any sales? Or are more people selling similar products to this because they can see that it's working? You see, these four tags are going to, or these four uh, data points are gonna help us identify all of the things that we need, right? To get past these big obstacles to our $100 per day goal. So our research, our ability to take action and optimize, because we can see each of these things inside of this tool. And then it's gonna help us decrease our fear of failure and it's gonna help us simplify things because, well, I mean, essentially it's kind of done for us. So here's what you don't wanna do. You don't, and for those of you asking, I'm gonna give you the link to access this tool completely free at the end of the webinar. I did not create this tool. 
don't give me credit for this tool. Uh, you know, it's just, I found it. I, doing my own research, I found this really amazing tool and by no means do I deserve any credit uh, for it. I just simply want to share it with you and um, I wanted to help you. I wanted to help you uh, throughout this um, holiday season in Q4. All right, so we'll see these tags here, popularity, popularity change, results, and results change. And we're gonna go over these, right? Now, here's what you don't want to do, is you don't wanna come to this tool, scroll down, and go, oh, the number one most popular thing right now uh, on Redbubble is uh, hydro stickers, whatever that is. So if I click on hydro stickers here, uh, then you're going to see 76,000 results. So right now, this is a very popular uh, category, stickers. Now, can you sell stickers on your Shopify store? Absolutely, you can sell stickers. Um, there's, a, I'm fairly certain, probably under accessories if I had to guess, uh, in here that you can get stickers um, in print-on-demand companies. So like Printful, uh, T launch. I'm not sure if Pillar Profits has it, but yeah, I mean, you can sell stickers in some of the print on demand uh, apps that are on there. Selling stickers is definitely doable, right? But you don't want to come in here and say, okay, stickers are where I should be making sales. And you also don't want to start selling Starbucks emblems, Chick fil A emblems, right? Um, you want to make sure that you're not infringing on someone's copyright, okay? So we're going to talk about how to get around that. Uh, so this would be the wrong way to do it, is just coming in here and looking at the base of what's the most popular. This is not how you're going to use this tool, right? I mean, like right now, the number 15th most popular thing category is Halloween. So if we type in, if we click on that, it's going to start showing us really, really popular Halloween designs. There's that ghost of disapproval thing again. All right, this is kind of boring. What makes it fun is when you start looking for specific things. So if I typed in ghost, all right, you notice these results change, ghost, as I type that in, and it's really fast. So if I type in ghost, right, it's gonna show me every product that's on Redbubble uh, in the 10,000 entries that they import in, and it's gonna show me the popularity of, of the ghost niche, right? So uh, coming in at 886 in popularity with an increase of 270 and 126,000 other results. Um, and then in the last week, there are 30,000 more listings on Redbubble about ghosts. It's because Halloween's coming up, right? Now, coming in here at 1,173 popularity, that's out of everything on Redbubble, you'll see that this has decreased by 155. Uh, the results, 1,198, and it's gained a 51 uh, plus like new things. So Ghost of Tsushima, okay, click on that. All right, so we're noticing that this is like, I mean, I, I don't under I don't know what this is, honestly, uh, but you'll notice a trend. It is this, this is the ghost of, uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right, Tushima. Um, and it's obviously very, very popular, very popular. Um, and it's working really well. And it gives you an idea of some of the designs that you could be looking at. Now, if we keep going down, ghost masks, uh, rated popularity 3,000 on the platform, uh, gained 105 uh, popularity. There's 79,000 results. And in the last week, there's 5,970 new listings of Ghost Mask, right? So why would this be popular? Why on earth would Ghost Mask be popular uh, during a pandemic and Halloween? Well, because a lot of people are going to be wearing masks, right, for Halloween. If they're going out to Halloween parties and stuff, um, you know, they might be wearing a Sub-Zero mask or a Scorpio mask. You know, I mean, this is going to give you really good ideas, but still we're not getting down to the nitty gritty yet. And I want to talk to you about how to analyze this data, look at this data and identify what is worth your time. 
Otherwise, you could get here and still waste time. I'm going to take another sip of my drink. Okay. As we scroll down, we're going to see a lot of different results when we type in ghosts. What are some of the things that we want to look for before we ever even bother with a niche or with the type of product, right? So, first off, we want to look at things that have gained a lot of popularity. So, <clears throat> if we come here, wow. Okay, so I don't really like this particular keyword. So, why don't we go to something like uh, nurse? Uh, I don't like that. Let's type in dog. Actually, Google. And you notice, like, as look, I type in pit bull, only three results come up. I type in pit bull as one word, only three results come up. Um, so just kind of looking at some different niches, let me just kind of go over a couple of things. Let's just type in something like, um, uh, let's see, let's just, let's go really, really broad with dogs. Okay. So we type in dog. That's going to give us 36 results on Redbubble. Okay. Now at the top, you're going to see dog stickers, dog mask. Uh, but here's what we're looking for. So this one is popularity 814. So it's under a thousand, which is good. Uh, remember, there's going to be 10,000 results. So this is 814 out of 10,000. It's gained popularity in the last seven days. It's up 58. Um, it's only got 2,162 results. And this is what we're looking for right here. We found something. Uh, and there's 286 new results listed in the last seven days. Let's click on this. Okay, so this is something that you can start to work from that is not gonna, you're not gonna have to worry so much with about copyright infringement or anything like that. We're noticing a trend here. Full-time dog mom is a very popular phrase, right? So you'll notice all of these shirts say full-time dog mom, full-time dog mom, full-time dog mom, right? Um, <clears throat> would you agree that Given this research here, it's rated in popularity in the top 1,000, actually the top 800. It's rising in popularity over the last week. There's only 2,000 other people competing with you, right? With shirts or masks or yoga pants or shoes or accessories that say full-time dog mom. And it's obviously starting to be a rising wave that you could surf because in the last seven days, there's been 286 new results listed. That means people are seeing success with this and other people are duplicating success successfully. Now, why did I say this one? It looks like a pretty solid choice to maybe play around with and test, right? I would feel good about it. Well, the reason would be because there's only 2,000 other people uh, or other results that I'm competing with, opposed to up here, right? With uh, this particular niche in general, there's 427,000 competing things, right? There's 202,000 competing things, 529,000 competing things. The lower this number is, right? And the higher the gaining of popularity is, the better off you're gonna be. That means that there's less competition, but more momentum this week than last week. Does that make sense? So what we're looking for is less competition, but more momentum, right? As a matter of fact, another thing that you want to look for is this results number. You'll notice most of these are green and most of them say that they're getting increased results, right? You want to be very, very careful, um, not like, for example, things that 
are going backwards, if they're in red, if any of these in the results section are in red, they're going backwards, then that typically means that either A, it's not working, like the product isn't making sales. And if there's an alarming amount of going backwards in negative and red, that means there could be some uh, trademark infringement uh, and copyright, whatever infringement issues. So, you know, that's a good indicator. You might want to stay away from something. Uh, okay, so Bungo Stray Dogs has decreased in popularity by 30. It's 389 new competitors, only 1,000 uh, people overall. So let's take a look at this. Y'all know I like the dog merch, so. Um, and this is like some anime stuff. I don't even know what this is, but apparently it's, it's that's something with anime. Um, all right, so you just really run into some, some interesting stuff. Snoop Dogg posters, French Bulldog masks. So French Bulldog masks has lost a little bit of popularity uh, in the last seven days, and it's gained 2,900 new competitors. Uh, do you think that's good or bad? Let me know in the question and answer box. If it's losing popularity and gaining uh, more listings and competitors, obviously that's not a good sign, right? Um, it's it's showing us that there's more there's there's more products and less demand, right? So when there's more options and less demand, then we can probably say, okay, maybe French Bulldog mask isn't what we should start selling, right? So this tool right here really does give us some very, very, very valuable information. Dog Mom has gained popularity. Uh, it's got 53,000 new listings. Uh, wow. Uh, let's let's play around some more. Let's type in something like, uh, I don't know, let's type in Patriot. Okay, so with uh, Patriot Prayer, Patriot Stickers, New England Patriots, Patriots, uh, I don't like that. Let's talk about the election, okay? Uh, so we could even talk about votes, all right? So there's lots of masks that talk about voting, which is something right now that would be uh, a very, very popular niche. Um, and you can see here, it's only gained a le plus 11 popularity, but it's in the, it's 128 out of 10,000. 128 over out of 10,000. There's 5,500 new listings. There's 67,000 results in general. So if we click on this, it's going to start showing us all. I mean, this one, again, there's a lot of competitors in this niche right now, but it is also in the top 200 of most popular things on Redbubble. So again, you have to look at this data and you have to analyze it wisely. Right. If, if we're looking at something that's in popularity of 9,000 out of 10,000. So in other words, it's at the it's at the bottom of the spectrum. Right. And it's barely gained any additional popularity. And it's got a ridiculous amount of results and a bunch of new competition coming in. It would stand to reason it's not a good idea to jump into that niche or to sell that type of product. But if it's in the top 128, right, and it's still gaining momentum, 11 points when there's only 128 available is a good bit. And there's 67,000 results and 5,500 new listings. This is what's more alarming is more competition coming in every week. But that's a lot better than 16,000 or 15,000. But then you come over here. And you look at this one, uh, vote or die. Oh, well, I don't really like that, but we'll look at it. Uh, so, uh, you know, it seems like this it, this particular phrase right here is gaining a lot of, of popularity. Um, and it's in the top 2,000. It's gained 239 popularity. There's 8,800 results. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. It's in the top 1,500. It's gained 500 popularity. There's only 2,000 results and not many new competitors coming in, right? So that might be something to, to look at right there as, you know, the presidential debates tonight and politics um, can, can sell, but you want to do it the right way, especially Facebook 
Um, they have lots of restrictions on it, but just telling people to vote um, is, has never been anything that is flagged. So some other niches, let's just say that we wanted to look at insurance, nothing, all right? That was something I read. Uh, let's just say that we wanted to look at the uh, army niche, okay? So Irish Republican Army has lost that 71 popularity, lost 199 popularity, okay? So what about kayaking? Another popular niche, all right? Nothing on there in the top than 10,000. What about Jesus, okay? So you type in Jesus and you've got tons of Jesus Highway to Heaven, T-shirts, Jesus masks. So again, this is helping us identify, is this a niche that is rising in popularity, that has a lot of competition? Uh, I'm just looking over here at some of the other niches. Let's see, archery, okay? Nothing in archery niche over here. Let's talk about Scorpio, okay? Um, here, here's something that looks pretty solid. All right, so it's in the top 5,505. It's gained a thousand popularity. So that is a massive jump. A thousand popularity is a is like a 10% jump um, in popularity. And there's 20,000 results. There's 5,426 new results. And if we come over here and look at Scorpio, which is going to be a sign, right? We got, we're starting to see ideas of things that are selling within this niche, like putting the Scorpio sign on a skirt, putting the Scorpio sign on a t-shirt, putting it on a purse, putting it on a coffee mug. This just starts to give you ideas of, of what's working right now. How many of you in here so far find this tool to be valuable right now? Again, it's not gonna tell you exactly how many sales something is getting. So what we're doing now is we're trying to look at the data and we're trying to identify, is it already popular? Is it gaining popularity? What does our competition look like? And how many people are spotting a wave and jumping on board? If you see a lot of new listings, that means it is rising, right? So um, very, very good. All right, let me look at a couple of other little things. Let's see, let's just get rid of our keyword here. Uh, okay, here's something you also want to look out look out for. 3,682 negative listings. That means that uh, in this particular niche among us, there's 3,682 listings that have gone down. So this means that they're either not working or most likely in this case, because it's in the top 10, uh, is going to be uh, probably trademark uh, style issues. So if we click on Among Us, I don't know what this, a lot of this is, right? Okay, so this is clearly some popular uh, image that definitely is trademarked uh, or has a copyright, whatever. So this is something that's popular, but you could see people that are trying to sell it, ripping it off, are getting taken down. So if we roll down here, uh, Cobra Kai, uh, Karate Kid, Tapestries are hot right now. So there's two things that we want to identify. Wow, the whole alphabet, eh? All right, so there are two things this free tool helps us identify. One, niches that are profiting right now, and two, products that are profiting right now. Uh, so an example would be tapestries. I know I spelled that wrong. Uh, but an example here would be tapestries. How so? Uh, coming over here, looking at our tool, for looking for products that are working really well and not niches. So I scroll down in the top nine, you're going to see tapestries, right? So a tapestry is uh, like a, a, a linen or something thing that usually people hang on the wall, they hang behind their bed, they hang in a bedroom or studio or something. So this is giving us a product idea uh, that we may not have ever thought of, especially me. Like I would never think tapestries are really hot, but right now on Redbubble out of 10,000, right? It's number nine. It's lost a little bit of popularity, gained a lot of listings. All right. You've got as we scroll down here, let's see here, Harry Potter, sports, funny masks, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, 
aesthetic stickers, animators, 400 pages that you can go through here. And you can also organize things by not just what's most popular, but what is gaining popularity, right? So if I click right here, this is how you find some really nice hidden gems. So uh, uh, by organizing it by what is gaining popularity, this in seven days has gained 9,223 points, right? It is now number 418 on the entire platform of Redbubble. So uh, if I click on this, it's TikTok, a TikTok logo apparently. Uh, so let's see here, TikTok, aesthetic TikTok logo. So you're probably gonna notice that there will be, yeah, let me go back. I bet you there's a lot of stuff taken down. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna notice that there's only 735 results. So there's not a lot on there. Uh, 165 of those results have been taken down. That means that there's probably some trademark issues there. Probably don't fool with this, right? Look at all these negatives. So these are usually things that are gaining popularity fast, but people are, are ripping off like trademark stuff. So they're getting the stuff taken down. So again, you wanna look at this stuff here. All right, but this right here is number 1600. It's gained 7,193 points. There's 37,000 results, which is not ideal because that is a lot of different people selling in this, but it, it has uh, gained mad popularity. So this is Bat Halloween. So if you wanna look for some solid ideas for Halloween, bats seem to be outperforming ghosts right now, right? In terms of what's gained the most popularity in the last week, we were looking at ghosts earlier. So this is gonna show us all sorts of that. I, I myself am strange and unusual, all right? So it's gonna give you an idea of if you wanted to start selling Halloween items with, <laughs> sorry, it's like, I got the these two things right here. Uh, this will give you an idea. Now, of course, when you get here, you also can start sorting this by most relevant to trending to newest to best selling. So if we wanted to see what are the best selling bat um, and Halloween designs, then organizing it by best selling is gonna give you an idea of what's working the best. It's freaking bats, I love Halloween. That's one of the more popular ones. Um, and again, this is not gonna tell you how many sales they've gotten. Rather, it's going to tell you what is their best selling or right now what is the most trending so look at this right now this is trending out of 53,000 results just a simple sticker of a bat that you can put on your computer or you can put on your water canister that's what i'm trying to tell y'all is look at this this is in my opinion not exactly the you know prettiest dress in the world but Again, it's simple. You can get this design off of a design like this off of shutterstock.com and get licensing for it. And you can toss it on dresses and pillow profits or tea launch or whatever. So coming back over here, let's just look at a couple more Christmas tree decorations, notorious BIG. You're on a mute. So we're we're really looking for ones again that uh, don't necessarily have a lot of listings coming down but they're still popular. October birthday quotes, okay? So October birthday quotes, this would be a short-lived trend, but it's things that like legends are born in October. Uh, so you've got a one out of 12 chance, you know, just off the top of my head, that when you're advertising something about an October birthday, a one out of, tw a one out of 12 chance that people seeing your ad uh, might be born in October right? Um, but you also know that people know somebody that was born in October and might buy this as a gift. So this leads us down another path of, okay, why don't we do a t-shirt for every single month? That way, when somebody sees this ad, we can say, click here and choose your birthday month or whatever. So now it's a universal ad that appeals to the public, everyone in the public, um, and it doesn't leave us so short-lived. Legends are born in October, right? Simple design. I've sold stuff like this all day long before, and it's still popping right now. It's, uh, you know, news to me, but it's still popping right now. So best selling. 
So we can organize this by best selling. Um, all men are created equal, but only the best are, are born in October. So you're gonna start finding different designs that are the best selling. Again, uh, also look at trending. So trending designs are the things that are selling right now. So this one obviously is trending right now. It's doing really good. Um, let's go back over here, look at some other stuff. And again, this is something that's gained some listings because it's October. It's gained a lot of popularity. And look, there's only 1,400 competitors in, this, in that particular space, right? So uh, not too bad. Let's hit next. Okay, so Snapchat stickers, Sunset Curve, Dr. Mike, Gen Z, 10,000 results, so there's a lot of results. It's gained 3,000 popularity, 1,300 new listings, it's in the top 5,000. Okay, so that's gonna appeal to a, a pretty large demographic, all of Gen Z. Uh, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> Funny Halloween witches, duck, I don't even know what all that is. Uh, we've got Boo Halloween, 3,000 new listings. It's gained 3,000 in popularity. It's uh, 6,000 right now. So here's another thing I want you to look at. I, I really am just doing this research uh, off, like off the cuff right now with you all because I don't like to have things already pre-chosen because then it makes it look easier than it actually is, right? Fact of the matter is, is you're gonna sit here for maybe an hour and you're gonna do research and you're gonna find things like the October shirts and like the bats and the ghost and simple things you may have never thought about. And if something has, uh, it's, it's like number 6,000, right? Out of 10,000 popularity, it's at number 6,000. Don't discount it immediately because it literally just gained 3,000 points in, la in the last seven days, right? So a 30% increase in popularity in the last seven days. So that means I wanna click on this and I wanna see what type of designs are selling right now, right? So things that say boo on them. Again, something very, very simple, very easy for us to replicate, like read more books. That could be layered on Facebook. Uh, with people that like books and love Halloween as well. So this is a phenomenal tool in the print on demand space that can really help you get started. Surgical tech, pop, wow. Uh, it's gained 3000 in popularity. There's only a hundred competitors. Uh, all right, so let's take a look, surgical tech. Wow. I would say this is like one of those gems that you might be looking for. Why? Because it's there's a massive wave happening. It's gained 3,000 in popularity in seven days. There's only 107 competitors and there's 305 new listings, right? So you can see that people are, are finding that this niche is working uh, as a surgical tech. And if you come over to Facebook ads, you could probably quickly, let's see. Let's do create an ad, conversion objective, continue. We'll see how easy it is to find surgical tech keywords on Facebook. That's the next step that I take. So we come down here. There you go. Okay. Uh, surgical technologist, 747,000 people. Uh, let's see, what, what else? Surgical fields of study, 15,000 people there is a field of study. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Uh, let's see. Let's type this in again. Facebook, stop it. Uh, where was that? Job title, 7,000. There we are. There we are. Association of Surgical Technologists. 
Uh, certified surgical technologist, 57,000 plus another 22,000. So you're able to hit well over half a million people in this niche. Now, if we come over here to Redbubble, we also can see that, where is it at? Uh, the surgical tech has gained 3,000, 30% gain in popularity on the platform in seven days, very little competition. So right now, for whatever reason, it's working, right? And we can see exactly what type of design. We can come over here and even do like sort it by uh, sort it by what's trending now. So surgical tech masks, stickers obviously are selling uh, really, really well. Uh, we can come over here so far and see what the best selling is, which out of like minimal like results, right? It's easy to see like the face mask again, I scrub. Uh, this design right here seemed to be doing really well. So look, you can go to Fiverr, <clears throat> show somebody this uh, design right here straight out of the OR and say, hey, make me something similar to this. Don't copy it, right? But make me a design that says something similar to this that looks very different than this. Then you can go to Facebook and you can start targeting surgical techs at an audience of over 500,000 people. And what we've done here is in about 30 minutes of digging, right? We've done some, I would say some productive research, right? We have found something that's clearly on a profit wave that we can take action with quickly and optimize it for conversions. And we've eliminated the fear of failure because we can see it's got a 30% increase on the Redbubble platform in seven days. And well, now we we're able to simplify because we can see some of the designs that are doing the best on Redbubble by organizing it by best selling versus what's trending right now. So again, just another free little tool that you can use to identify products and identify niches. What we just identified here was a niche. Earlier with tapestries, we identified a product type, right? And again, we can keep on coming down. So what I would do is when you come to this tool here, right? Organize it by, don't organize it by what's the most popular because you're going to get stuff like stickers, right? Laptop stickers. Um, the stuff that typically is going to be, uh, have a lot of trademark issues. But when you go to organize it by what is gaining popularity in the last seven days, what has gained the most popularity? This is where you're going to find those profit waves. And I think we just went about three pages in and we found surgical tech, which is a wide open niche, which has gained a lot of popularity, right? And it's something you don't have to worry about trademark issues with because it's just talking about somebody's job, right, and profession. And it's something that you can run over to Fiverr, uh, you can run over to Upwork, right? You can run over to Fiverr, you can run over to 99designs, and you can get a graphic designer for 15, 20, 30 bucks, whip up a similar design for you, and start putting it on Facebook ads. And again, right, you're not just putting it on a t-shirt, you can take that design and you can put it on shoes, you can put it on all sorts of different apparel, you can put it on masks, you can put it on home goods, you can put it on coasters, you can put it on blankets, you can put it on tapestries, on pillows, right? The, don't just sell t-shirts, right? So that's my intent is to show you how to identify niches and identify products that are hot right now. So what we just did is, is that, using a completely free tool, but we had to dig. Now, a lot of people will spend hours and hours and come up with nothing. We spent about 30 minutes, that's it, 30 minutes in this tool, and I found something that I am very, very, very confident that if you could go mimic some designs in your own unique way, mimic some ideas, right, using a graphic designer on Fiverr for 15, 20 bucks, you can go target 500,000 bullseye targeted surgical techs on Facebook. And I feel like you have a very, very, very good shot at generating sales. And only three or four t-shirt sales uh, will make a hundred bucks. But then again, you could be selling a uh, t-shirt, not just t-shirts, but you could be selling pillow profit shoes. Um, look, let me go back and pillow profits. I know I said I was gonna keep this short, but I get so excited. Uh, when I find stuff like that's one that we can see is on a profit wave with like no competition and a very, very bullseye targeted audience on Facebook. So look at all of these products and pillar profits, mouse mats, uh, you got mouse pads, hydro tracking bottles, 
you've got uh, duffel bags. So why not go all in on the surgical tech and see if they want hats, if they want aqua shoes, if they want masks, if they want purse, if they want snuggies, if they want whatever it may be, right? There's a zillion different options that you can put it on. And we already saw that Tapestries is one of the hottest uh, products that's on right now too. And I believe in Pillar Profits, you can get Tapestries. I know in T-Launch for a fact, uh, you can get Tapestries. So look, there it is right there, 22 bucks. Probably turn around and sell it for 60, 70, 80 dollars. So you just have to go in and do a little bit of research, but do wise, productive research. That's what I do in my business. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a grind there, but if you're using your time wisely, then you should be able to come out fairly quickly with some ideas. So <clears throat> that would conclude uh, you know, our third and final piece of uh, my top Shopify product picks, how to find products to $100 a day. I would definitely go in and use this Redbubble popular tags tool. I know a lot of you in here are asking me for this. We, If we spent some more time in here, just kind of going over each of these and clicking on them, we'd be able to identify, um, I, we'd be able to identify more good niches and more good products. Remember, key takeaway, organize it by popularity increase, right? Because those are the ones that are gonna be on the profit wave most likely right now, okay? Uh, the link to get this tool, if you if y'all wanna go and use this tool here, is going to be, let's just do, Let me just get this for you guys. Okay, so the link to go and check out this tool completely free, again, as you could see, there's nothing for sale, is gonna be VIP.8, just type this in, VIP.AMSecretLink.com slash Redbubble. All right, so VIP.AMSecretLink.com forward slash red bubble, right? So you can put the HTTP colon in there if you want. So I can get this at 28. Boom. There we go. All right, so here's your free red bubble research tool. All right. So if you go to vip.amsecretlink.com forward slash redbubble, it'll take you to this tool and you can you know, scour through what's most popular. Um, you can also see like you can organize it by um, what has lost the most results. So what is kind of fizzling, what is really, really gaining. Like, I mean, you can see what categories, what types of products that are really popping off right now. This is a great way to see like sweatshirts are gaining a lot of popularity, home decor. What products are people buying this week, right? Funny t-shirts are in the top three. Organizing it by popularity increase is gonna show you more about what niches are gaining momentum most likely right now. What little slogans, what uh, humor types, uh, slogans and t-shirts are doing well uh what like trending topics are crushing it right now so you're going to want to do sort by popularity increase to see more so what niche and type of topic is crushing right now organizing by results typically uh is going to show you as you can see more about like what type of products are doing well and like big main niches like nature cute black white birthday uh nature art prints love greeting cards birthday t-shirts flowers right so just make sure you go in and you organize these results you take a look at each category beware of categories that are losing a lot because that means there's some trademark and copyright style issues or that they're fizzling you want to look for stuff that's gaining uh in popularity right and hopefully has less results so less competition and is gaining a lot of popularity in terms of other people are starting to list because they see that it's hot right now. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, again, here's the link, vip.amsecretlink.com slash redbubble. Um, and remember, every week I open up our free drop servicing funnel 
uh, toolbox. You can go to hp.com, uh, go.profitph.com slash free tools. Uh, and that is going to take you over here to your free toolbox where you can start your own drop servicing funnel. Um, I give you the funnel, the book, the emails, everything. Uh, it's, it was a really great uh, business model that I showed all of my students earlier this year. Many of them took it and ran with it and crushed it with it. So that's open. It's completely free uh, you know, members area for you. If you go to profitph.com slash uh, go to profitph.com forward slash free tools and type in the password PPHQ4, PPHQ4. And also, if you are our, uh, if you want to apply for our success student awards, you can go to profitph.com forward slash success. If you've hit at least $10,000 in sales on your Shopify store, then you can claim your t-shirt for joining the 10K club and above. Um, and if you just want to apply to be our student of the month, if you've done at least one sale on your Shopify store, you can get in the free contest to be the student of the month, get on our student of the month wall, win some free stuff for me. And, uh, you know, it's just fun contests that I do to motivate you and reward you for success, be it getting one sale or hitting your first $10,000 to, to six figures. We've already had somebody hit that six figure mark and claim this reward. So if you already have hit $10,000 or above, Make sure you go to profitph.com forward slash success and you fill out that form because I'll send you some pretty epic stuff. Um, you'll see that page right here uh, and you'll get your t-shirt, um, which you'll get one of these t-shirts, whichever one you qualify for and some more epic stuff as well. So again, I'm sorry for going an hour, 15 minutes. Make sure you go fill out these applications. Uh, thanks for joining me tonight because I know that you had options and I know there's other things that are going on. Uh, that are important in this world to, to be focused on. So thanks for coming here and, and hanging out with me. And remember, if you want to use that free tool, I don't own it. I, the owner of it doesn't know me. They don't know that I'm recommending it. It's just a free tool. It's vip.amsecretlink.com forward slash red bubble. All right. So make sure that you check that out and, uh, you know, you do some research. I'm trying to get everything on one screen here. All right. So that's it, y'all. I will see you next week. Same place, same time, right here on the Profit Power Hour. Have a great night, y'all. I wish you a ton of success. And in the Facebook group, I will be announcing the winner. I'm not going to go live because I want to be able to watch this debate. Um, but uh, I will choose a random winner and post about it in our Facebook group. All right. So love you all. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I'll see you next week. Good night.